So are you saying that anybody who disagrees with you must be a toxic feminist? This is Levi Washington, a male feminist with a fairly large following that consists mostly of angry, middle-aged female feminist. This is relevant because what he's dealing in is what we call a red herring. It's when you have a subjective opinion or really no argument at all. So you stir the emotions of your audience by using some topics such as younger women marrying older men. How do you think a bunch of older female feminists are gonna feel about that topic? Here's the problem though. The population in America is roughly 335 million. You can look up the marriage stats on your own, but the amount of people that are married with a 20 year age gap or more comes up to maybe like 600,000 people or so. Meaning from a statistical standpoint, this topic affects nobody, zero. 600,000 out of 335 million, this is a non-issue. So what's Levi's point? Why are so many feminists talking about this so much? And it is a popular topic. It is a red herring to stir up angry people, get their emotions going. And if you look at the comment section on Levi's post, it's full of nothing but hatred for men. And that's the point and why I push back on this. I don't care who you date. I don't care about age gaps in and of themselves. It's perfectly natural. For all of human history, cross-culturally, younger women have always married older men on average. If you have an opinion on this and you don't like it, fine, fair enough, I respect your opinion. But to paint all men as predators for something that is demonstrably perfectly natural has taken place for all of human history up until this day. That's why I use the example of a 22-year-old Margot Robbie in The Wolf of Wall Street. She was universally accepted as a sexually desirable woman at 22. So what Levi is doing is dealing only in a very narrow subjective opinion on a topic that affects statistically nobody. To the purpose of what? He has stirred up thousands of women to just hate men more and more. It's morally wrong. In this clip, this is Dr. Orion Taraban, clinical psychologist with a great YouTube channel. He's citing an academic article. I'll put that link in the comments. If you read the article that he cites, the researchers don't just use raw data. They went to a lot of trouble to filter out and try to make it so they were comparing apples to apples. The short version is this. People will say certain things to a survey taker because the are worried about what they might look like if they give a raw, unedited answer. But when they can look at people's choices, men and women alike, what do they choose when nobody else is around to see what they chose? The average woman's desirability drops from the time she is 18 until she is 60. For men, desirability peaks around 50. Younger women choose older men. Older men, when they have an option, will choose younger women. It's not an opinion. That's what people do. And thus people like Levi Washington making a topic that affects 600,000 people out of 335 million. Again, look at his comment section. He's like a drug dealer just dealing out the hate. 